name is Joanne Thomas, and welcome to another episode of Dakota County Lifestyle with parkbench.com slash Rosemont. So today I'm excited to be hanging out in this cool little man cave here with John Flannery of Flannery Painting, and we're in Egan today, so uh, he'll talk a little bit about his service area and such, but just wanted to quickly introduce John here, and then maybe you could just tell us a bit about your business and a bit about you. Sure, sure. Well, yeah, like you said, uh, I'm out of Egan, and um, so I've been in business about 25 years, um, just this past March, and, um, you know, we service uh, just the kind of the southeast metro for the most part. I try not to go yeah. very far, okay. um, and uh, we deal with mostly existing residential homes. Um, okay. We don't like to get too involved with building or remodeling or, yeah. you know, don't do a whole lot of commercial. Okay. But, uh, yeah, okay. so that's kind of the gist of it. Sure. And what made you decide to go into painting as well, a business? Well, the truth is um, I was bartending years ago, and okay. um, one of my regular customers was a painter. and was always oh. asking me if I wanted any <laughs> extra work. And so I started working for him off and on. Ah. Um, and I did some corporate sales jobs and whatnot and mm -hmm. um, didn't really like that. Uh, and I did kind of like the painting and I like the idea of being self-employed. Okay. And um, I've always kind of had that entrepreneurial kind of spirit, I guess. Mm -hmm. And um, so, um, yeah, after I worked for him for a few years, I went on my own. Okay. And, um, and I really enjoyed it. I mean, it was tough. Um, you know, uh, had to pay the mortgage and had two yeah. little kids and mm -hmm. so it was a struggle uh at times you know um but i never missed a mortgage payment and i i managed to keep it going uh the whole time you know sometimes i was calling people and offering discounts and mm -hmm. and that kind of thing but i managed to keep it going and now after 25 years it's a little a little easier <laughs> I bet. A lot yeah. of referrals. And a lot of business. referrals, you know. And my website is, um, you know, the number one website in the region. Is it? Okay. Uh, as far as just being organic. You know, I don't pay okay. for my rankings. Okay. Um, that That's took a lot of years, mm -hmm. uh, you know. Uh, but, uh, yeah. yeah, so a little easier now. Yeah, so you touched on this a little bit. So what it's like at the beginning and kind of that fear. And did I make the right decision? But, yeah. so 25 years ago, I'm dating myself here, but yeah. was like the Internet, I mean, no, there was no internet, really. No, so no, there was no like internet. Calling. I mean, there was some, I suppose, but no, I wasn't until um, in 2008 where I put up okay. the website. Okay, that sounds good. And uh, I had uh, help with SEO, search engine okay. optimization. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, you know, that's key, you know, getting ranked high, you mm -hmm. know, making a website is easy, uh, but mm -hmm. being found. Uh, is, is not uh, and so that took some time mm -hmm. uh, but now if you just google painter in Egan or yep. the surrounding communities I'm usually the first one you'll find perfect except for the people who pay like right. like Serta Pro or Angie yeah the first two are always they'll yeah. say sponsored or something like yeah. that yeah yeah so um what maybe you touched on this and I missed it do you focus on interior only or no we have exterior crews okay. as well okay. uh, so, but uh, no, yeah, both. Okay. Both. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what would so you have repeat customers? I'm sure. Yeah. What do they say they appreciate so much about you and your style? Yeah. Well, we uh, our attention to detail. You know, people are almost always shocked at the amount of repair work we do. Oh. Um, you know, people will sometimes we'll say, well, yeah, we have a nail hole here and a dent here. Oh, and, oh sure. can you fix this spot? And then we'll, there'll be 300 repairs. And they're like, oh, my gosh, I had no idea. Wow. Um, and then we just try to be really clean and just uh, just make everything really hassle-free. Um, you know, do what you say, say what you do. Yeah. Um, you know, that kind of thing. And just from beginning to end, uh, just try to make the whole thing a good experience. And, okay. and, and of course, the, the work has to be, you know, second to none but um yeah yeah the whole thing has to be good to to get those good reviews and, yeah yeah that makes referrals. sense so what are some of these other repairs that us non-painters don't think of yeah right? what do you run into that well it's not so much that they're unique um part of our process is we call mapping and so we take uh bright lights oh. and we hold them parallel with the wall 
so we're down the wall with the light. Oh, so I we're see. trying to create shadows and show depth. And then we'll see, uh, a lot of times we'll see repairs that were done poorly in the past. Sure. Um, cause it's really not an easy thing for the average homeowner to do is uh, wall no. repairs. Um, so poor, you know, and those screw pops, nail pops you may be familiar with, mm-hmm. but dents, dings, cracks. Um, yeah, just that kind of thing. But it's, you know, we look for it, we take a flashlight, bright flashlight and a pencil, and we've marked all, all the repairs okay. and then we repair them. And then, uh, you know, we have this, uh, sander, a $3,000 sander with Ooh. a, it's connected to a HEPA vacuum. Oh, cool. So it's very dust free too. So mm-hmm. we sand the walls nice. before, before any of this and, and that's dust free. And then after we do the repairs and with the sand, those, that's dust free. That's really nice. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. And all my crews have that machine. Uh, okay. you know, so. Um, so it's not it's just if they get you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any, any of my people uh, would be the same. Okay. Yeah. So what happened? I know as a homeowner, I would probably ask for advice on paint color. Sure. How do you sure. talk through that with a homeowner? Yeah. When well, I don't want to be thing. ultimately responsible for sure. the paint color, but yeah, you know, I, I I'm happy to sort of maybe make some suggestions. Sure. Um, and generally, it's based on your accessories and your your woodwork. Mm-hmm. Uh, the trim around doors, windows, um, and flooring. Um, sure. But what you might have, like, could be curtains, it could be couches, you know, that kind of thing. That's mm-hmm. really what you want to base your color on. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'll be happy yeah. to help, but um, yeah. I don't want to be responsible. No, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. An opinion, I think, helps just because we're so, I mean, I guess I should speak for myself. I mean, I have colors that I like, but is it going to look right with this? And yeah. then what kind of texture? You know, there's all these different eggshell and, mat, you know. It's right. Like, oh, gosh. So I imagine you take your time and walk through that with a homeowner as, yeah. they, as they're selecting which room they're painting. Because it's kind of dependent on that, right? Bathrooms, somewhat. kitchens. Yeah, somewhat. Some, somewhat. Yeah, yeah. You Am know, I just uh, making stuff up as I go? <laughs> well, I don't know. No, you're not. You know, like like a really dark color might not be good for a bathroom or a kitchen because it's going to get toothpaste on it, soap on it, and oh, food on it, you know, and things like this. Uh, mm-hmm. but yeah, so. Um, but it's sort of like, you know, you, you want to make sure your shirt and your pants go together. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, it seems you know? really simple, but at the end of the day, I think people just get overwhelmed by it. So having yeah. a professional opinion is nice. Yeah. So do you have any fun, like, customer experience stories or some crazy thing oh, that someone's God. asked of you to do? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know, but I've, I've got a lot of good relationships with customers over the years. And, um, right. oh, gosh. You know, I probably could come up with something. Like, nothing really comes to mind right That's now. Okay. But, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, no, okay. I mean, I've made a lot of good friends uh, okay. with, with customers and um and some of the, you know, the workers, uh, sure. and even, uh, people at the paint stores. Uh, oh, I bet. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Nothing really that's crazy okay. comes to mind right I now. Put on the spot for that one. Yeah. So that's all good. So what are some of your greatest challenges right now as far as whether it be a business owner or the type of work you do? Sure, sure. Well, um, you know, I don't know, uh, you just getting good workers, um, mm-hmm. and you know, keeping them, keeping them happy, keeping them working. Uh, mm-hmm. but, um, you know, there's lots of ups and downs, uh, with, uh, with the business flow. Sure. Uh, so, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. It's just that kind of thing, I guess. That makes sense. Yeah. But do you have like a, when you bring someone on, do you have like a training thing that you go through with them or? Do you just sure, keep, sure. I know you were saying earlier before we came on that you, you know, you really go and spot check all your crews, make yeah. sure things are going well. You know, do you have sure. like a training or a protocol that you act, expect them to follow? Yeah, that's a fine line you walk. You know, you don't want to step on toes. You know, you get people with a lot of experience uh, sure. already. Sure. And so, um, you know, you don't want to hurt people's feelings. Yep. Uh, a lot of these guys have a lot of pride. Mm-hmm. And, um, so you have to walk lightly mm-hmm. sometimes. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, usually that's a process, um, to, to get them to do things how I want. Um, so it can be tough at times. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, 
But uh, sometimes I'll hire someone with no experience, and then usually I'll work with them personally quite a bit. Okay. Um, through the process. So it depends. Uh, it depends. Depends on the person. That makes complete yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes you know I'll have other people train. Uh, mm -hmm. It just depends on the situation. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. So do you handle all the books and everything? I'm from afraid top so. To bottom? You do? Yeah. So that's really time okay. consuming. Bookkeeping. Sure. Uh, yeah. So you know, for example, today, you know, I. I you know, got up at six o'clock in the morning. I'm on the computer. Um, a lot of just a lot of just coordinating. You know, making sure that the painters um, and the customer can you know connect. A lot of times, I'll take a painter to a home in advance, oh, introduce sure. them, mm -hmm. show them the job, so they you know know what to expect and uh, mm -hmm. you know, make sure they have all the colors and what type of paint. Right. Um, but then maybe I'll go paint for a while. Mm -hmm. which may not have anything to do with painting. It could be just wall repairs or whatever. Sure. Um, but um, then I'll go to homes and do estimates. Then mm -hmm. I have to write up the estimates. And, um, you know, communications, there's you know, texts and calls and emails yeah. constantly. And keeping all that coordinated is sometimes uh, it's just like juggling. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then so I get home and I got to write up the estimates and, you know, so you're the yeah, face it, of the business and the cost of the business. It can be a lot. Yeah. It can be a lot, you know. But, yeah, um, yeah you, you know, I guess I'm kind it. of driven, you know, yeah. to sort of – I kind of feel like I'm sort of an entrepreneur type of person. I'm really mm -hmm. driven yeah. to be successful, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think you have to be if you're going to work on your own. Yeah. I, I think that's something I've experienced. I know that I don't want to go back to that corporate life, you know. So yeah. It, yeah. I'm driven every day to get up and work my hardest. Yeah, it's, so you it know, can be a lot. I mean, some guys, you know, they're happy, uh, you know, working their nine to five, so to speak. Sure, and, nothing and wrong they can with go home. Nothing wrong with that. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so um, what about, what are some things you wish homeowners would know or suggest to homeowners to make the process easier? Like as far as when your crew does come in, like furniture, I mean, Stuff like that. What could homeowners do to help the process move along better? Well, um, usually it goes pretty well. It's, it's all about it? communication and just okay. um, usually people ask me, what can I do? And mm -hmm. um, So if the communication is good, um, it's, it's usually not, not okay. too bad. Um, you know, to uh, we're, we're happy to help move furniture okay. if they can kind of move any smaller breakables. Sure. Um, we have a lot of equipment, so usually wow. we want to unload it into the garage unless it's like the middle of winter. Sure. It takes a lot of space. You know, my truck is full of the ceiling. It's, you know, <laughs> so because you, you never know what you're going to need, and well, you don't sure. want to be without something. And then in a minute, you try to take some of your things. Yep. You're definitely going to forget something. Mm -hmm. But um, no, it's just all about communication. I okay. think, and That's you good. know. And everything has to be done in advance. So, mm -hmm. again, it goes back to just that being organized and coordinating and just, you know, lists and calendars and um, all this kind of thing. Just, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and you're always looking into the future, you know, yep. uh, and to coordinate everything. Um, so, okay. yeah, yeah. So I'm going to make them simplify it, even though not every job's the same. So walk me through a typical, okay, homeowner calls, I need two bedrooms painted. So first step, you go out, you do an estimate. Do you yeah. do the investigation at that point as far as the – you're explaining the flashlight? Don't yeah, the usually I do bring a flashlight. Okay. Yeah, and so I'll look at the walls. And, um, yeah, so it's um, – well, I guess to answer your question, uh, yeah. So I'll go to the home and, mm -hmm. um, and you know, talk through everything, what they're kind of looking for. Okay. Um, but um, and then uh, I'll email them an estimate. Okay. Uh, but I'll ask them what their thoughts are on color. You know, okay. uh, is it going to be ten colors? Is okay. it going to be two colors? Are you going to have accent color walls? Sure. Um, and um, you know, generally the estimates for two coats. And so you know, okay. I tell people, hey, you know, for example, you know, white. White often takes three coats, sometimes okay. four coats. You know. Oh, uh, I would have never known that. That kind of thing depending on what you're going over. Sure. Um, and then if we start talking about the repairs, a lot of times people are sort of like, oh, I don't need that. I don't, I don't even notice that. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. But so my fear 
And the reason I started doing it that way in the first place years ago was I always was afraid that I'm going to finish a job and say, okay, may I have my check now? Yeah. And somebody's going to say, well, okay, but why didn't you fix this? And why didn't you fix this? So mm -hmm. we started saying, well, we're just going to fix everything and we don't have to worry about it. Yeah. And so that evolved into that. Just usually just there's hundreds done. of repairs, depending on how many rooms, et cetera. Yeah. But usually there's 100 to 300, 400 repairs. Mm -hmm. I could show you photos where it that's looks crazy. like the house has chicken pox. <laughs> yeah. But that's why so. you're the experts in it. Like, I think, you know, I think I recently saw a video about painters, and it's just like, everyone thinks they can, and you can. I guess we can all paint. It's a horrible but idea. It's, <laughs> People, it's not easy to do. Yeah, I know. There's a reason that it's still a profession. Because, you know, if you, when you've got paint on your ceiling, and you've got paint on your door frames and mm -hmm. window frames, you hurt the value of your home. Yeah. Don't let your kids paint. <laughs> if you own a rental home, never let the renter paint. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, you can really advice. cause damage that is going to cost you so much to get fixed down the road. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it's going to hurt the value of your home. So yeah. but you can be a part of the process. And, I can be. I hope yeah. I am. And you then, know? Yeah, no, and they <laughs> can be part of the process. Pick the color, you yeah. know, bounce ideas off a professional. Let them make it look, make it shine and do it right. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, but yeah, so then generally I'll just email the estimate. I don't want to try to like sell them. You know, I'm not going to say, okay, it's $2,000. What do you think? Yeah. You know, no, I, I don't like to be, a, I really don't like to be like the salesman, you know, so yeah. I'll, just, I'll email it to you. You just let me know if you want to move forward or if you have any questions. Sure. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Sense. So I think people probably yeah. appreciate that. They're, they have to think about it, right? It's an we often do have sort of a minimum by the way you know oh, okay you know because generally because of how we do things mm -hmm. it's very difficult to do anything in one day oh, and so yeah, you know because the repairs have to dry mm -hmm. and generally i mean you have to pay someone for a full day's work mm -hmm. and generally well we have one we have one sort of single guy crew okay, okay. for where we could do it still would usually need to be like at least three rooms. If, it, if we're talking like bedrooms or bathrooms, okay, kind of a minimum is going to be about three rooms. I'm glad you brought that up. It's important yeah, enough. yeah. People just think, can you come paint my bathroom? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, like I said, I got to pay somebody for a full day, mm -hmm. and um, so it doesn't always work out. But yeah, no, that makes sense. I mean, <laughs> it takes a lot to get a crew to a site. You know, commit a whole day, get yeah. two days, you know, whatnot. So that yeah. makes complete sense. I'm glad you brought yeah. that up. Yeah. All right. Well, great information. Thank you. So what's the best way for customers to reach you? You mentioned Google. Pretty easy yeah, to find I mean, them that way. You can Google. But uh, what's your website? FlannerypaintingEgan.com is what it's called. Okay. Um, which I don't, the reason I came up with that name was simply because really when the internet was young, um, people were trying to figure out how do I get found? Yeah. And I live in Egan. I thought, well, that might be helpful. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, at any rate, you know, um, Flannery, you Flannery it, painting yeah. usually works, and um, and you can reach me right through the website. And, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And your phone number's on there too. I yeah. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Cool. Your right. email. <laughs> Anything I missed that you would like to share? <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> no, I don't know. Uh, we just we, we we try really hard to make the whole thing hassle free from beginning to mm -hmm. end, um, and. Um, We've been really successful at that, mm -hmm. um, and you know I think our prices are usually in the middle. People mm -hmm. are always telling me that they've gotten higher bids. Okay. Uh, you know, and you know, and sometimes lower. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, you know, sometimes you get what you pay for. Absolutely. Uh, you know, um, you know, mm -hmm. go with someone with who has got a lot of years of experience and mm -hmm. uh, you know reputable companies. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, so uh, we'll definitely strive to to do a great job for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. Twenty five years in the business, and you're still doing very well, yep. getting referrals and repeat business. I think that speaks volumes. So yeah, I appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. And if you guys need some painting done to your home, few rooms at least, or exterior, <laughs> yeah, make sure you look up Flannery Painting. Clearly knows what he's doing. He'll walk you through the process, help you consult on repairs that need to be done. And then maybe help you with some paint choices, but he's not going to pick it. You have to pick it. <laughs> so, 
thanks for joining Dakota County Lifestyle and parkbench.com slash Rosemont uh, interview today. Leave us a comment below, subscribe, and have a great day. Thank you.